Hey guys, Tatrap here bringing you a 2v2 today. We're on Moscow outskirts. Safe say spawning on the left, we have Dirty Finisher with OKW, Special Operations, Overwatch and Elite Armored. Teaming up with him, I've decided to name this person Face with Osir immediately going for German Mechanized. Going for a no MG42 start. On the right we have Sam Carnation. Sam Carration rather. <laughs> okay, with US forces and uh, airborne. And finally, Ed 80 Hertz with the British forces picking special weapons. In terms of uh, rankings here, we've got Dirty Finisher rank 8 at the moment, face 190 something, uh, Sam uh, in the 50s, and Ed uh, around 120. A cool action from Dirty Finisher out the far side. Pretty big map. So you can get quite a lot of value out of the Kubel harassing down these flanks. I think we've seen like a few games won by that alone. Just that extra pressure on these VPs really stacks up over time. Good cover positions here from Ed. Not pushing in. Maybe worried about an MG42 though. We know that there is none lying back there. Not much of a contest for this fuel point though. This player's kind of taking it easy. Kubel's getting out of there. So it seems like the Axis is going to connect their fuel earlier. Might lead to slightly better resource control. Pushing through here onto this standard territory point, but about to get flanked by a couple of squads, so this isn't going to be sustainable for too much longer. Well, a bit of a scrap out here, but do you finish just shooting at the squad inside of the building? So, uh, they don't see okay, switching across the rifleman now, but they duck away from the fire quickly and then come back in. So, really trying to tax Duty Finish's micro doing this move as. Sam. Work to construct a new platoon command post. We all got hit with the Vickers in the center. And I uh, get some surprisingly good suppression for the Vickers actually. Slight Enemy mistake there from Face as well, point. retreating just before the sector got neutralized. Would have been better holding on there for another like 0.2 of a second. As soon as that Google got repaired up, it's uh, back down to low health again. Good round of fire there from Sam. Ran uh, pretty well in terms of penetrations, it looked like. I think at this stage, he could probably afford to just charge into the circle. Jump out of the building. Try to apply the pressure. Ooh, late retreat from Ed! Oof, was that a mortar shell? Looks like maybe the mortar shell uh, knocked out maybe even three models of a section. And then they get polished off as they were retreating, unfortunate. So we got one kill actually though. The mortar. Costly loss there for Ed. Cooper wants to push on to this cutoff. Uh, a lot of units inside the building stalling out. Fresh half track at our disposal. Oh, here's some trouble. Ooh! Two early wipes here for the Allies. Not a good start. Yeah, getting mobile with the Vickers though, bringing it out of the center and uh, getting some good damage done, getting some suppression going. It's running back into the circle, looking to jam the connection. Not quite able to get there in time. But now I've got engineers rolling up. A 250 though, at a very fast timing for face. You don't see these too often. He's trying to get across there for a snare with the engineers. Not happening. But does manage to chase away his squad from the far side. Could get some uh, capping going out there. And diverted attention away from the mortar as well. Sam coming back across. Make sure he gets off the rows as fast as possible. Early retreat though from Dirty Finisher. He's playing it safe there. I suppose maybe he felt like he couldn't hold on for a full capture. So 
There wasn't much of a point in sticking around. Do have a uh, ambulance. Good map for sharing healing, this one. Let's see if he makes use of his teammate's ambo. Random team on the allied side. On both sides, I believe. It's already repositioned away from the mortar barrage. Could wire off this side of the sandbags as well. Oh, okay, that's a uh, Axis mine there. Oh! Negative cover there, and the rifle squad goes down, so that's two losses now for Sam. Oh, that is really bad news. Thought about flanking the 50 cal, but that was retreating into the building, so decided against it. 50 cal will shred the Kubel. It's coming back in though. Did set up facing this direction instead of this one, like initially. Dirty Finisher has no control over that, so. That's how it is. It's going to be an AEC from Ed. He has already got medics. I didn't see exactly when they were in relation to the ambulance from Sam, but. Maybe a slight double up on the healing, and now Ed with tank hunters. So he's going to have the anti-tank well handled between these two units. The tank hunters are very strong. Especially uh, at this timing. And they don't seem to have too big of a vet disadvantage at the moment as well. Sounds good. That can be uh, one of their main penalties since you have to bring them in at two command points. They're always so far behind the enemy main lines, but not so much the case this game. Put pressure on to be cut off, and here comes the AC. Ooh. Well handled there by Ed. Knocks out the Kubel. Stopped just ever so slightly short of that shoe mine. I, I imagine if the. Rakesson was a little bit slower to fire. He might have chased a bit further and uh, maybe would have run over that line. But uh, yeah, well done. Stopped at just the right spot. <laughs> As uh, luck would happen. And got the kill on that Kubel. Should open up some uh, more territory control options down this side of the map from Sam, who's really struggling. He's not even connected this point to this early stage. And uh, quite unusual for Sam as well. We're seeing the lieutenant into Stuart rather than the typical captain shenanigans that we see alongside airborne pathfinders. Trying to bring up the Rakesson, looking for the kill on the Ambo and gets it. Did manage to decrew it at least. Got the medics out, but that is a painful loss for Sam, but can use his teammates healing now, so uh, Ed doubling up on the medics uh, to pay dividends. You see back up to full strength coming across to Ed's side of the map. We do have an anti-tank gun, here it comes. Oh, what was this? Mate, just face, not know what the tank under section does? <laughs> like, but why did he drive it right in? Has, he just has to have never seen this unit before or something. I don't know. Very strange. Vickers D crew trying to salvage it and to steal it. Three quarters of the way through the salvage interrupted. Ended up losing two models as well. Would have been better off going for the steal on that. Overall, Dirty Finisher has got his tech coming up now at the back. Fouse connecting. But... Bit of road there, able to keep the AC mobile, backing away from the pack. And we've got the uh, assault officer now for it as well. To uh, some more repairs. To the finisher though, oof, could be losing a squad here. It's Vickers decrewed again by the mortar, I believe. And that's going to get stolen by face. He's trying to drop some uh, 
Base houses. Okay, it's going to be on the team weapons though. Seems like that mortar's been running pretty hot. So still only got two kills somehow. Maybe the ISG? Not sure. Not sure exactly how that got the crews. Feels like maybe <laughs> some kills have been misattributed there somehow. I'm not sure. Got a nice mine in the uh, road by Ed as well. Good position. For, very good position for a mine. Coming out to this side with the green ears. Quite slow reaction times. Going to launch a rifle nade. It's paying attention though. Easy dodge. He's going to jump into the building. Not the best building. You've got the heavy cover there. We've got only one window out this side. It's just a stalling tactic jumping into that building really. Yeah, it might allow some time for AC to rotate. But not happening at this stage. Got a fuel cache down by face as well. Yeah, it yeah, jumps out of the building, getting out of there. Slight VP lead to the uh, Axis early on. About 40 points ahead of this stage. Enemy forces are securing Feels like territory. the Allies have probably had slightly worse territory control as well. Sam being so slow capturing this point, never capturing this one. And losing control of both the fuel and the cutoff. Feels like the Axis probably have had their lead though. It has harassed this side a decent amount as well. It's probably the extra, you know, two points being the largest difference maker. Now stolen Vickers inside the building. Ed getting shut down. Does not have uh, any answer to that at this stage. One of the big features of my strategies when I was trying this build was uh, a mortar pit. So we'll see if Ed tries to get one of those down. Dodge on the rifle nade, it looks like. As long as there's no mortar fire coming in, continue to fire from the cover, is it? Bit of a push coming in from D finish on the other side. Oh, 50 cal D crude. Other 50 cal sitting up trying to prevent the steel. Coming into close range here with the Stuart, but the Rakitin's back there. It's one shot in. Stuart hoping for a lucky shot here. Doing decent. Backing out before the final shot. No attack round attempt from Dirty Finisher either. But, you know, this mission accomplished. Good little push there. Stole the 50 cal. He's got to be happy with that. And now triple cap against the Allies as well. They're in some major trouble. Section ducking around. I think he... Better on this side, could probably have light cover and deny the heavy cover. Oh, I didn't even notice that rifle nade, no noise from it. But I could uh, hear. Close call there for Ed. Do you have the option of dropping some smoke here if you're worried about getting fired at while you're capping? Machine gun crew awaiting orders. And uh, there it is. Machine gun from one side. Direct fire as well. Leaves the capture circle. Has to. Oh, cheeky rifle nade from across the tree line. And the officer goes down. Officer is quite squishy. Until you get the five man upgrade or from VET. It's. Uh, can be a bit hard to keep him alive sometimes. Going into close range. Knew that he forced the Rakitin away, so the Stuart's safe to get in here and do some damage. Up close and personal. Got bars on these Pathfinders. Sounds like just a single one. Doing some decent damage here. Stuart coming across that side now, it looks like. He's making a move on this. Looks like another rifle nade's been fired off. Cover blocking uh, a lot of the damage. 
There's going to be a command tank from face. Not arriving at a particularly quick timing. Considering it's reduced price over a regular Panzer, but alright. Regular Panzer 4. Rough nade from the side. A lot of rifle nades from face. Doesn't have a huge amount to do in the late game with his munitions, so understandable. Oof! It's mine. Paying dividends there gets the squad wipe. We do have the uh, vehicle crew repairs, but that's, you know, that's about it. So I can understand being rifle nade happy, and they are getting some decent results as well. A few more mines down from Ed also. It's one of the benefits of the double engineers. Quite early on, can plant a lot of those mines. Hold the line, though. It's a pretty strong ability in these team game scenarios. I want to save some munis for that. Okay, P4. Oh, the Kesson was in an aggressive position as well. He's got the shell shock running. Trying to get away with the Stuart. The P4 briefly halts the chase to the Stuart fast enough to escape. Did see a side tick from Sam. Going for the captain, which is very unusual. When you're going for airborne, you know, one of the main benefits is you don't need to go for both officers because you can airdrop in the other team weapon that you're missing. So I really do not understand the captain's side tech, but see what happens here. AEC's coming across. We've got the AT gun rolling up. Maybe a bit of tread shot action from it. Oh, he doesn't have the munitions for it, unfortunately. AT gun slightly uh, off target here. And Dirty Finish is going to back away. He does have the AT rifles here, not completely defenseless if the P4 did rotate. And it does have a Cromwell about to pop out. Rather splendid. We'll start to fight back and should be able to dominate the Panzer IV command tank. With the uh, Cromwell AC combination. I would recommend uh, not upgrading the tank under sections with the Piets. Unless you're really desperate for anti-tank. Because it does cause the anti-infantry DPS to fall off a cliff. As it is the boys AT rifle they have. Kind of similar to the guards PTRS. Actually reasonable against infantry. But the Piet is hopeless. Generally try to avoid the paired upgrade on that squad. Okay, making a bit of push out here now. Drops one of his bars. There's the issues if you double equip bars on these pathfinders. Very prone to weapon drops. Major's popped now, but Sam uh, quite low. Oh, it's... Oh, was this this mine over here? Somehow was still alive. Must have got a unusual health threshold. Continuing to chase around the corner. And eventually polishing it off. He's got to be careful though. The pack is back here. Setting up at a uh, angle. The Faust coming in as well. It's up to the next shot from the pack. Does he have vision? Will it connect? I think he lost vision, didn't go for the attack round. So the Cromwell trying to escape now. The pack is going to continue the chase. Could come in for another Faust. The Greedy is... Uh, do you have the Faust available? He's got the munitions for it. Head section here, trying to make life difficult. Jumps into the building. Jumping out. Going to go for the Faust. Ed coming in, maybe hoping to... A bit of a crush or maybe force them into close quarters so a tank shot could pass them off. Not quite. But it's not too bad. Cromwell and a Panzer IV command tank. Pretty similar in overall cost. So it's a fine trade. EC coming up here maybe hoping to finish off the pack. Not happening. Maybe it would have been better served, like going the long way around to try and back away from harm. Not sure if he spotted the pack's positioning as he's making the dive. 
T-Gun decrewed out the back here for Sam. And uh, now getting harassed on these sectors all the way back here. So it's really going to be up to Ed to try and push back onto the side and get some fuel control because the Allies are way behind in that department. And that perhaps makes the trade a bit worse for Ed, given that he can't rebuild his Cromwell for a very long time now. At that stage where he could be considering stalling for a crocodile as well. Do have a second AT gun picked up by Face, which as we know is not going to be necessary for a very long time. Be another three minutes or so, given uh, the Allies' fuel control at this stage. Good little chase down. Do we finish it? Pays the price for that deep decap. Fox Trinity down. And that is a lot of firepower here from all of this infantry. Fox Trinity is getting out of there though. Got to come into cap with the Royal Engineers. Allies down to 202. They're two on that Panzer IV already for Dirty Finisher. Did decide to upgrade with the machine gun as well instead of the Panzer Commander. And now he's gone for the Sturm Tiger, okay. Maybe he feels uh, comfortable to go for this kind of attack. Only one AT gun at the moment for Sam. He's uh, a little susceptible to vehicle pressure. Might struggle against the Sturm Tiger, doesn't really have a good answer to it. Let's have a lot of manpower. Oh, Randy is dead over here. These mines by it really getting the job done at this stage. And that's two squad wipes and perhaps a eventual vehicle kill because of them. Okay, P4 is blitzing in, circling around. He's going to go in for a base inspection. It does have a mine down here, though. And that pays dividends. A T-gun splashed. But it's rotating across with the AC and the anti-tank gun. Getting some rear armor shots in here. The Rakitin's there as well. Rakitin missing, though. It's a T-gun. He smokes. He's blocking his own a T-gun. And he goes for the attack round and misses the AC. Gets out of there just before the Panzer IV had finished reloading. Its anti-tank gun does get decrewed, but can they maintain control of it? Looks like Duty Finish is going to try to kill it. The Stuart circling around. The bazookas it was on the Major saving the day there. And the uh, Stuart continuing to circle. Looking to get on the rear armor of the Sturm Tiger. The bar finder's coming up here, and uh, at the moment, AT gun is still alive. Incendiary rounds active. Stuart dancing away from harm. There was actually uh, an opportunity here. Sturm Tiger. It's ready. It's reloaded. Where's he going to fire with it? Not yet one yet, so can't use the grenade launcher, which would be pretty useful in this kind of scenario. comes a Brumbia from Face. Pretty good dodge on the rocket attack. Two models down overall. A lot of health damage, but that doesn't matter too much. Oh boy, but Dirty Finisher going to steal away the M1. Maybe going to try salvage this. Put a major artillery out the back. Actually, nearly decrease that quite. Okay, Ed with the tread shot. And some good damage in here. Combining up with the snare from the tank hunters. Got a few bazookas. Oh boy. Face maybe making a critical error. Far too aggressive with the Brumbia. Stuart ducking away. And there goes the Brumbia. Ed loses the engineers. Think trying to, you know, stack up all the damage possible with mass anti-tank grenades. Got a Jackson out now for Sam, maybe a touch too late. Under fire. Enemy squad has us but defuse the Brumbia threat nonetheless. The late retreat on the Pegrins. Yeah, it looks like it. 
Ooh, polishes them off. What a shot from the Cromwell. I was not expecting that. He's going to continue to push on this side with the machine gun. Cromwell's going into the center. Forced off the middle with indirect fire. The mortar and infantry support gun have really been limiting the action of the allies in the middle. Taking a look at army size. You can see overall pretty similar between the two at this stage. Another boom in the build though for face. Cromwell coming in from the side. Jackson missing. Double AT guns for dirty finisher. And uh, this one was hidden. Stuart takes a shot. No shriek on the stern fires though. The kitten under major pressure from all this infantry. He's too late on the retreat. He got greedy trying to set up and face this direction with the Stuart. Should get punished with the decrew here. Incredibly lucky that that hasn't been decrews. Meanwhile, Ed coming in with the Cromwell. Gets splashed by the Sturm Tiger, but managed to decrew the M1. And uh, the AT guns from face are coming in, attacking the Cromwell from this side. Actually, one of them gets decrewed. But Ed doesn't have the firepower to maintain this position any longer, but Sam does. Pushing in here, kills off the infantry support gun, Ed, with their AEC. And the infantry continuing to flood forwards. Definitely face had an opportunity to get away with this AT gun. Here comes the boom bear now. Big shot to start things off. So much firepower when there's this many bars on top of the pathfinders. The new infantry will mount fast. Jackson coming in from the side. Pretty low health with the Jackson though. He's got to be careful. A lot of decrewed AT guns wouldn't take much. For uh, a few losses. I was doing their best. Won't be a floater. Missing a mark though. Pyro's over here capping. Ed did expect maybe units would come out to this side for the VP. So MG out of position to guard the VP. A few more points going to drain away from the allies. They need to do something about that. Can't believe this Stuart is still alive by the way. Ed coming in with the tread shot, and it looks like both shots connecting. Stoom Tiger's now immobilized. The Jackson's coming in, he's gonna try to fire off a rocket. And oh, not a clean hit, just stuns the Stuart. Gets it for a bit of health damage. AC looking for the finishing shot, but bouncing. I think it will probably need two shots from the AC to penetrate anyway. Stoom Tiger does have quite a lot of health. Yep, Jackson connects for one, it's not enough. He's one more, he's lost vision though, he's pushing forwards. Gets it! It's gonna cost him his Jackson though for the trouble. Hits a T gun meanwhile, also about to get decrewed. Uh, it's actually a US Forces AT gun. Now it's gonna be salvaged even. And Ed's machine gun eventually did get forced away by the Pyros, looks like he was a bit tunnel vision down here. To take a now he's coming out to the side with the Cromwell, so should be able to take control of that area easily. Jamming the capture here as long as he can. Oh! Tries to go for a shot. Unit ready for gets out of there with the officer. Our More engineers for it. A lot of repairs it. required. Most of the AT guns have either been recovered or destroyed now. <laughs> oh. Could still go down. Just after one of those Pathfinder shots, easily could have gone the kill on that squad. Here comes the Cromwell. The Bumbi up here does have a little bit of support, but the pack is actually facing the wrong direction to start things off. Spins around now. Cromwell missing its shot after bouncing the first one and pack missing as well. MG jamming the cap. One thing the allies are definitely missing is indirect fire. Looks like Sam has picked up an M1 mortar. Could have 
Base out to fire from the officer brought in the overleaf. Okay, we've got a Sherman from Sam. One shot connecting. Ooh. Sam, a lot of repairs required. Does still have a huge amount of manpower remaining as well. Could maybe consider putting down a cache. Missions. Could be a decent shout at this stage of the match. Get some of these planes going. Hit also with some powerful commander options. T-gun over here. He's not popped the AP round, so bouncing his shots off the Brumbia. Brumbia coming back in, though. The spotting scopes on that, so uh, taking advantage of that extra vision. It's going to be a Panther next from face, so it's Cromwell going to be up against some stiff competition shortly. Bit three on that mortar now, by the way. Impressive. on the mine so we got one down here again by Ed capture point is being overrun. do have a sweeper out from face though might spot some of them looks like he's swapped the crew out of the Stuart into I guess it's this Sherman yep nice little trick there try to give it some a bit of a vet boost Sometimes I like to keep the Vet Squad inside the Stuart, especially if I need like the extra uh, vision from it. Vet 3. But in this case, if you've got a bunch of Pathfinders, you don't really need that so much, so I think a switch and cruise is a wise choice by Sam. Okay, Sherman circling around. Double Shermans, actually. Oh, big shot. Rakit and D-Crew just like that. The pack now could be under some uh, pressure. Do have a King Tiger rolling off his dirty finisher, but this is a good timing for Sam to attack just before the KT arrives. Both AT guns decrewed. Panther, though, coming across from face. Sam trying to get away now. And the King Tiger arrives as well. Everything disengaging though. I'm well quite low. It's definitely going to need some anti-tank. Ooh! Okay, he's officer dead. I didn't see exactly what caused that. Luckily this flamethrower squad does not seem to be connecting with every model. So he's able to hold that position. Gun. Getting a couple shots in on the Brombeer. Green's down fast though to the double bar finders. They still have quite a lot of manpower to rebuild, just like Sam, who still has close to 800 manpower. Here you see, just uh, applying a bit of pressure. Panther's taken a surprisingly large amount of damage. And, uh,. Seems like maybe Face is starting to get a little bit overwhelmed when it comes to Micro. Bit sloppy with the team weapons there. Bunker Buster though. Leaving a bit of pressure. While well, the King Tiger going out to the far edge is not very well suited to that since it's so slow. It does force away the Lieutenant. Seems like the Allies though kind of giving up on the side a little bit. Maybe focusing the attention mid and left. Got a howitzer coming up now for face. Don't think that's a particularly good idea. You know, especially if you already got tier 4 down and could go for a worth instead. Bad 
you know, against the Allies' tech composition, it's just not that strong anyway. Okay, Bofor is coming up from Ed to try to lock down this VP. Could quite easily be cleared off by either the Brumbia or the Panther. But maybe he can uh, get a bunch of mines down here as well. Try to bait them in. Could work out in that situation. Looks like Face never recovered this AT gun either. It's popping the vehicle detection mode. Do I see this too often? Quite a limited uh, ability here for Monus, but gets an idea where these Axis vehicles are out the back. Okay, dude finishes a T-gun decrude again. Sam's infantry is just so powerful at the moment. Can target getting some cheeky attack rounds in through the building. Sherman's backing away. Tiger rotating to handle them. Not V1 yet, but not too far away from it now. Overs do end up going down though. Ouch. Speaking of things going down, the AT gun of Sam falling, I guess that's to the howitzer. Two kills. Maybe combining up with the Brumbia. Oh, King Tiger with the heat shells. Look at that damage. That was nasty. Sharon goes down fast. Okay, tread shot coming in on the Panther. Second shot missing, I think. King Tiger dropping the artillery down on its trench. Needs to get out of there, and he is. Up to retreat. Grand is dead over here. I'm not sure if that was to mines or just to Beaufort's fire. Either way, that Beaufort was working out for Ed on the far side. King Tiger, though, making his presence felt through the middle. Really need this uh, Jackson to get up here for Sam. Just hitting the field now. And he goes for a Werfer as well as the Howitzer. I feel like Face is maybe a little bit vulnerable to some vehicle play. Just has the one Panther, one AT gun, no snares whatsoever. Could easily get out positioned by these fast allied tanks. And Sam's dropping down the planes through the middle, looking to buy some breathing room. Flies down to 97 VPs. And he's targeting the Brumbia first. No Pintle upgrades on any of these Axis tanks, so uh, they shouldn't reveal themselves by shooting at planes. Into air mode on the Shrea activated. King Tiger comes back into the danger zone, takes a sprinkling of damage. One of the planes shot down. The Panther now. Looks like it evades the mines. Gonna try to clear off the Bofors. It's Cromwell, There's maybe could answer this. All kinds of havoc. Okay, it does go for the crocodile. It's, it's a fine choice. Here comes the Cromwell combo and the Panther forgot to take it off prioritized vehicles. Trying to get away now with the Blitz, rear armor exposed. And Ed did have a mine down here. I didn't see it. It's kind of hidden underneath all the shadows. And now it's a double team on the rear of the Panther. It's popping the tread shot on it as well, just for good measure. This is one of those situations where it could even be better trying to attack round on the rear of the vehicle just to make sure you're getting those rear armor hits. But either way, uh, clean stuff there from Ed. Set up that trap with the Bofors, with the mines, and it did pay off. And now, what does Sam have left? You know, his AT gun decrude again. And uh, here comes the crocodile. Could just run a muck through the center of the map. Not much to stop it from face, at least. One AT gun, Panther and King Tiger, though, from Dirty Finisher. It's quite a lot of firepower. 
Oh, we've got Shrek's on the P-Greens, actually. AC's coming in. Could actually find the Panzerwerfer back here. I'm not sure if Ed would have spotted that. The AEC does have pretty good vision range. The Shrek's very slow to reload while suppressed. Really, they terrible. That AC's chasing in. Did see the Werfer. Polishes that off. Finds the King Tiger back here. Gonna get some rear armor hits. Of course, the King Tiger on spearhead mode. There's no answer to this. And now getting slammed with the tread shot. The Jackson's coming in. The AC's on the rear armor. Oh boy, dirty finish in some major trouble. The Jackson with the heat shells. Sabo rounds, I think they are. Oh, he and here comes the Crocodile now getting onto the rear of the King Tiger as well. Jackson's coming back in, it's on low, but Panther occupied. Knocks out the AEC with the heat shells, boosting up the damage. Cromwell's coming in now here as well from here, just carnage. Panther trying to make sure it's frontal armor facing the right direction. The Jackson could go down to the Panther and does, but the Cromwell and the Crocodile polishing off all of Dirty Finish's armor. And Ed, he's not content with that, he's going for more. He's got the hunt active on the Cromwell. And he's going to disengage. Crocodile though. Okay, it's also coming across. Could just knock out this mechanized truck. Big plays there by the allies. Good coordination by the random team. And really, uh, face, left the door open for something like this to happen by investing so heavily into indirect fire when he was a bit light on anti-tank. And as soon as that panther got in trouble, a complete collapse thereafter. Do you finish also maybe paying the price for not getting uh, many mines down? Axis in general, I don't think it... I only see maybe one or two shoot mines, that's about it. Now it's with the uh, massive British armor plays there to get the job done. Tries to recruit the Rakitan, but the crocodiles, he's not having it. So it's always an awkward position when you go for this kind of build. Uh, when it comes to repairs on the crocodile can really be quite slow it has not upgraded any of the engineers with the fast repair rate yet he's actually constructing a Bofors be careful there's a bit of Howie fire coming down here this could be nasty and placement is being attacked and he knocks out his section good damage on the Cromwell also Axis still have a lot of VPs left to build their way back into this game. Dirty Finisher is way down on population though, after all of those losses. Maybe if it was... These pop caps were kind of reversed. Dirty Finisher still had the larger army, it would be a much easier task. There's actually a shoe mine back here. He wants to shut down the Sherman plane now. Buster onto the Bofors. The enemy are attacking in a I think this might have like a bonus against some placements, right? Enemy causing trouble. Can't Trying remember. to take one of our points. I think it did have a target table bonus. Quick decor on the request, and yet again, these Pathfinders, remember they do have extra range. At Vet 3, so they get the range very quickly hard to avoid. Panther looking for the kill. The Sherman goes down. Cromwell flanking around. Bit of AT gun support here. Cromwell with the hunt active. He's, he's bitten off more than he can chew. Charging ahead, threatening the snare with the engineers. Not happening though. Sherman back here abandoned by the way. Could be stolen by the Axis and that could be a way for Dirty Finisher to get back into this game. You could really do with the Sherman right about now. Triple cap against the Axis. They're starting to drain quickly. Good start though knocking out that Sherman. They are running right into the Bofors again. Looks like the Brumbier 
tempted to go for another bunker buster. The Howie's facing up this direction. Gonna go for another barrage. Race is ready to go. Oof. Great Howie work. Oh, and he's just running right into this howitzer. And everything he's got. <laughs> A lot of scatter on these Howie shells though. Pops the brace now. Okay, Sherman back up to full strength. It looks like it's going to be Face who's going to be uh, the one crewing it though. Got the Panther now as well. Okay, planes coming in from Sam. And uh, Face not responding to this that well, and now I've got hold the line from Ed as well. And because of this aggressive sector capping, actually covering some relevant areas. With hold the line, it does last a decent period as well. down those overs. Oh, the Sherman goes down to the planes all the way back here. Oh, that was really bad by face. I honestly wonder if Dirty Finisher could have gotten that Sherman. Maybe just didn't notice it was abandoned. It would have been so much better for the Axis though than face using it. comes the P4 is popping the heat shells can two pits the Stuart here oh but shell shot kicks in blocking the shot in time will the Stuart be fast enough it's a bit of a speed boost down the roads the heat shells have worn off so uh, one extra shot I don't think would have been enough damage 222 eventually shooting down the planes the Howie actually out the back the Mortar is dead, so is the Bofors. So the howitzer has uh, done well. I questioned it at the start, but it's, you know, it's developed into a very useful tool, especially with it going for the emplacements. Knock it out, trading a few hits. Bofor is going to shut down any capture attempts here Dirty Finisher is looking for. Axis now down to 80. They are in the spot of bother. We do have the Firefly coming up for Ed. He is maxed out on Popcap now as well. And they're trying to go for the Bunker Buster but it seemed like it bugged out. Didn't end up firing. Takes an engine crit. Might be within uh, one shot range, especially for a Firefly. It's Firefly cruising forwards. Panther's still there running a bit of defense. The Shreks are suppressed, so their reload horrendous. Have to retreat. Lost is away the Panther Lieutenant did for Sam by another way. I'm not sure exactly what got it. Maybe it was the P4. The decoy on the 50, but the Firefly coming in from the side. Chilled Rockets missing their mark. Oh, but Fox Trinity's dead. Where were they retreating from? Do you finish it kind of coming onto the far side of the map? And it's, uh, it's causing some awkward retreats. Training. I think I got the VPs around the wrong way just before. <laughs> it's the uh, allies. They were down to AT axis. Might be joining them shortly though. An anti tank gun has taken the field. Standing by. Send the 
It's going to try clear off this Bofors now. It's Cromwell. V2 pretty mobile. Could make a rotation. The enemy are attacking an emplacement. Did he finish it? He has loads of munitions. A little bit surprised we haven't seen the uh, coordinated barrage dropped on this. I'll speed the process up. It's Cromwell coming across, but this Shrek's missing their mark. Cromwell very fast. Where was the artillery though from Dirty Finisher? Not sure. It's Cromwell is just so quick. Two rockets somehow missing. Each shell, Panzer Fort returning fire. Firefly though does have the range edge. Facing the Cromwell forwards though. Nice work there by Dirty Finisher. Cromwell goes down. Pegreens do die though. So does Ed's stolen pack. Firefly bouncing. Boom beer. Back in away. And now the Axis under 80 points. The Bofor was standing strong. The Rakitin could have come forwards during this, maybe start to go for some attack rounds from outside of the range. Just finish is missing there. We have Howie fire into the centre yet again. Planes coming in from Sam, trying to punish this Ford Panther. Emplacement under attack. And the uh, Panzer Force coming back in. One more shot. And both Force is dead, but he braces. Before getting cold feet and enough damage there for it to take an engine crit. I think that was the uh, artillery from the Panzer Ford. Knocks out Ed's machine gun. Things coming back in for another bit of damage. Panther quite low after that. Crocodile making a bit of a move. Wouldn't be though getting a big decrew. Okay, double Panzer Force now for Dirty Finisher. Smear on one of them. We've got a fresh Cromwell over here for Ed, but the Bofors is down. We're going for the capture with the machine gun. Finally jumped out of this building. Engineers coming in from the side. Cromwell coming in as well. Engineers pressuring the Rakitin. With the Cromwell. Oh boy, a bit of rubber band action. Oh, but it might be fast enough to escape. Here comes the Jackson. Stuart. Somehow still alive, the Stuart. Paratroopers on top of the Rakitin. One of these Panzer Fours looks likely to go down, and probably the other one as well. These engine crits really coming back to haunt Dirty Finisher. Did have vehicle emergency repairs. Might have been able to activate this at some stage during all this action, but too late now. And the Panzer IV goes down. Good teamwork there. Sam really swooping in to save the day. It was in some major trouble, but did he end up retreating back here? So allies are under a bit of VP pressure. Ed losing his section, trying to go for the cap on the far side. And now here come the Panthers now. They're not full strength. Jackson's coming back in. Crocodiles are quite durable though. Good health pull on them. Jackson's swooping around, coming around the long way though, if they came just down through here, might have had some more success, but we've got an AT gun there as well, AP rounds active on the Jacksons, while Panther misses a crucial shot, probably would have killed this Jackson, and uh, down goes both of the Panthers, get out here with the Crocodile, confident, there's nothing to counter him, opens the capture up for his own infantry, Allies capping in the center as well. Take a look at army sizes. You can see the allies with a sizable lead at this stage. Do you finish it? Does have a bit of room to rebuild. Looks like he's going to go for another Panzer IV. Just need a tiny bit more fuel for that. He's got it now. Team weapon completely flattened by the Howie there. 27 kills. Definitely respectable. 22 with the spotting scopes now. Good call. Should have had that all along, but a bit late than never. I think a lot of this vet has been from shooting down planes. It's 
cancel his visa quite quickly. So guys, probing, hoping maybe to uh, steal one of these or kill off the vehicle crews, something like that. He's popping hold the line now. And a uh, few duty finishes units coming into the danger zone. Don't know if he's noticed or... Oh, here we go. Huge damage. On all the line planes. Box Trinity's down. Machine gun having to get out of there. And this does last quite a long time as I was saying. It's very good for these late game VP wars. I've seen it lead to some kind of campy gameplay. That's exactly what you want when both teams are under 100 VPs remaining. You want to be the one camping it out. Going for a machine gun bunk here. Very strange. You'd almost think like a command bunker might be better just for forward reinforcement and whatnot to try and maintain some more field presence. Alright. I think those Jacksons would probably just knock out that bunker easy, but... Alright. Still hotly contested on the VP's Ed with a uh, half-track coming out here to the far side. Probably out the capture. Crocodile backed up with a Rakitin, the double Jacksons. Mobilizing. Here they go. Felt like it probably could have been more aggressive with the uh, crocodile there. It's, it's durable. It's one of its main uh, traits. Yeah, it's always good to see the old uh, mean half track. This thing is so slow, by the way. It's so bad. Because of how slow it is. Much, much slower than the uh, US forces want. Guess it's because it's full of all these weapons that you can give to your infantry. <laughs> the enemy's down to the fact that the uh, Vickers is broken as well, Vickers K, it's really uh, it makes this thing almost never worth getting. But here we go, duty finisher coming out to the side. Two points remaining though, it's too little too late. And there we have it. Ooh, it was a good comeback from the Allies. They were really up against it. Dirty Finisher was just bashing Sam. But a few maybe over-aggressive moves from the Axis, pushing like all the way into here. Ended up losing a couple tanks. And that set the stage for the Allies to make the comeback. And then in the late game, uh, Face's preservation a little bit lacking. And his composition, uh, yeah, he made a bit of an error going for, you know, both the howitzer and the werfer with only limited extra anti-tanks. So as soon as that panther got in trouble here, trying to clear off the Bofors, hitting the mine and went down, there was a green light for the allies, made some huge plays, smashing dirty finisher with a two on one and uh, eventually getting the job done. Well, well played and a pretty fun high action game this one. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.